Now that we learned F1 score, let's introduce something a bit more general. Here's the concept. If we have precision over here and recall over here, then F1 score is somewhere around the middle. That gives as much importance to both. Of course, if one of them is smaller, it raises a flag, but it treats them both the same. Now let's say our model cares a bit more about precision than recall, then we want something more skewed towards precision. So we'll say it's a F0.5 score. So we call that beta, beta is 0.5. The smaller the beta, the more towards precision that we get. Or if we want our model to care more about the recall, then we move in the other direction and we pick a larger beta, say beta equals two, so our metric is F2. If you like formulas, here they are. Remember that the F1 score is two times precision times recall divided by precision plus recall. So in the formula for beta, you just introduce a beta over here that will skew your formula towards either one or the other one, depending on if beta is small or large. So let's see. If we have the fraud detection example, which beta should we use? I would initially think that this needs to be a high recall model since we need to catch all the fraud cases and it's okay if we accidentally detect and investigate some that are not. So something like F10, but then maybe we're sacrificing too much precision and we're accidentally sending our customers too many notifications about their transactions without them being fraudulent and they're starting to get annoyed. So we can move a bit towards say F2 but then maybe we discover that we need to focus a bit more on recall because we really don't want to miss too many fraudulent transactions, so we go here to like F5. It's not an exact science. Finding a good value of beta requires a lot of intuition of your data and a lot of experimentation. Now let's test our knowledge, let's have a quiz. So let's look at three possible models. In the first one we are NASA and we have a model for detecting malfunctioning parts on a spaceship. In the second one we have a video recommender system and we have a model for sending users phone notifications about new videos they may like. And in the third one, we are a store and we have a model for sending free samples in the mail to potential clients. And let's say one of them has an F beta score of F1, the other one is F0.5, and the other one is F2. Which one is which? Enter your answers below.